So if you want to invest in a company and you try to kind of assess what will be your best way of investing and what will give you the better return, what would you actually choose? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you're new here, maybe consider subscribing. If you're interested in all sorts of different free apps, which can help you mine different types of cryptos, or if you want to talk about stock market or hear my bad opinions or good opinions on different topics in the stock market or cryptocurrency market, or finding different ways of earning passively or earning while uh, investing some of your time, as I'm not a financial advisor and I would not advise you to invest any of your money or if you decide to invest any of your money the way I do it and the way I present it, doing it for me, obviously, uh, maybe do more uh, kind of due diligence on those topics. But let's leave that out of the way. Um, there's a constant battle between big, big bulls in Tesla and at this stage I would not say there's so many bulls as many maybe fanatics followers of Elon Musk and Tesla and fair enough Tesla has had a very good ride and I still think it's a good company I'm not sure that I can see it in the future as being the leaders or carry on being the leaders in the automakers when it comes to EV but that's my personal opinion I've made a big um, Tesla video a few weeks ago in which I express my opinions considering how small they are in the whole ocean of automakers but that's a different topic my questions are is actually Tesla going to lead all the way through the EV manufacturers and they're going to just beat everybody up and nobody's able to catch up or should we actually look on different type of companies which can be treated as startups and eventually they'll uh, behave very well in the EV market. I see different people talking about Lucid or talking about even EO in China in which they kind of don't give them any chances of being any close to Tesla and I think most of the people who are actually comparing them are doing it a bit wrongly and that's because I do think that they're way too enthusiastic and fanatics about Tesla and not actually treating Tesla uh, at the beginnings of Tesla uh, compared with where these companies are. Um, I don't want to bring too many updates or too many facts in this conversation. I'm just trying to kind of get your opinion on it. Would you actually invest in a company like Tesla or would you prefer to invest your money in a startup maybe like Lucid or a good, I would say, already established company like NIO in China or all the other manufacturers in EV market in China or even Rivian or different startups in EV market from US and why not EV market um, in Europe if you see some names in Europe as well. Here I'm not talking about well-established companies like Ford or even GM or different other big boys in Germany. I'm talking about specific EV manufacturers which are only producing EV cars and they don't want to uh, kind of compete with diesel or petrol or even hybrid. They just want to purely build up EV cars which are performing uh, statistically way better than Tesla in terms of speeds, in terms of battery life, in terms of battery and when it comes to the mileage you can actually perform by using these batteries. So. Uh, we all know batteries are degrading and if you buy a phone in maybe one year uh, the battery will be at 50 percent performances at where it was when you actually bought it and this is kind of um, you'll see that degradation happening in anything that is actually having batteries and uh, this is probably valid for cars too uh, maybe the way they perform is better than actually a little small battery inside of your phone but over the years and depending on how you drive and depending on the conditions the way you actually drive the performances are obviously different from car to car and from manufacturer to manufacturer. More and more people are talking about the FSD in Tesla and this can be an interesting discussion because they kind of bet all their money on FSD and they claim that lowering the prices is just kind of 
beating the competition and trying to kind of make the competition lower the prices so they can actually make more money by selling FSD and FSD subscriptions. Um, as I already told my opinion about dropping prices, that's because you've got too many cars. And if you watch what happened with Tesla in the last months, from having even one year lead time in ordering a Tesla, you can actually order it same month. I know they have big factories and they can make lots of cars, but they got a lot of stock which they try to sell. And my only opinion on selling cars is because they try to avoid on having a very bad January and a very bad quarter one for 2023. I know we live in a crazy uh, kind of world um, where we are in recession days and trying to sort out supply chains and everybody's trying to do what's their best. But I, I think the bulls in Tesla are just trying to kind of wash out on what's really happening when they actually try to sell cars on discount prices and they claim that they are doing it just to beat the competition and just trying to force the competition to drop prices and then they just going to gain more billions in the FSD. FSD is far away and I'm not sure who on earth wants to drive a FSD car at the beginning of <laughs> in the inception of this. Um, I think people driving with FSD are more stressed than actually people driving uh, with their hands on the wheels and me being I, I'm already stressed in a car with somebody driving holding the wheel uh, I'll be even more stressed when actually the car is taking the decision and making the decisions by itself in the bubbles everything work and in card world everything is got 90 degrees angles there's a saying but in real world on the real roads where there's no markings there's just crazy people driving around. FSD is just going to take years and years and years and that's just my personal opinion. I know AI and everything is kind of getting to different levels and we see things evolving so much faster than they used to years ago. But I still feel like FSD is um, uh, still a few years away and just claiming that you drop prices for forcing competition to drop prices so then you can gain more by offering FSD on the side. I just don't buy that. But the discussion is, would you actually carry on investing in Tesla and maybe gain uh, 2x, 10x from where we are now or invest in a startup which will actually um, have the same trajectory that Tesla had since it started and maybe get more slices from the big pizza of EV market. Uh, I don't know. Let me know in the descriptions uh, let me know in the comments below your opinion because i would love to hear that and as a disclaimer i have a portfolio in which i have neo tesla and even lucid and i kind of invest monthly in these companies part of a big uh, tech portfolio i have and i keep these ones in that same portfolio because i like ev and i'm not a hater of any of the companies not even tesla even though I have so many debates with most people because I understand a good company, but I don't understand fanatics when it comes to, to that. And people like Meet Kevin only pumping and pumping and pumping and pumping because part of, of his portfolios, he's got so much Tesla, which is currently on minus. Um, I start gathering a lot of information on all his kind of lives in the past months, years. And I've got an Excel sheet and probably I'm going to share that at some point with Kevin's predictions and he's so bad statistically. And I have also kind of traced back his portfolio in Tesla and his minus big time. But the discussion is not about Kevin, it's not about Tesla or hating Tesla or loving a different company. It's just about trying to be subjective and trying to uh, present information as is. Uh, without trying to influence people because most people try to influence you because they are part of that company or they try to pump that company because they have different kind of targets when they do that. Uh, I'm just trying to be impartial, I'm trying to be subjective and I'm trying to kind of have a discussion if we should probably invest more in Tesla or try to uh, kind of get the benefits of investing in good startups which have good products and have good potential uh, for the future. Let me know again in the comments below your opinion and I would love to carry on having this conversation. Thank you for being here and thank you for watching. See you later.